Hey everybody, it is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and welcome to Monday evening. I did not get to do my weekly sales update on Sunday because life, and so here I am now. I took a drink of water right before I went live, so I feel like I need to burp. Apologies. That's, it's just life, right? <laughs> uh, it's easier just to say it right out and get it out of the way. So, <laughs> hey everybody, um, I've got some friends in the chat. Jeff is there, and so is Carol and Terry. Hi, AK to Red, and Lindy and Myra, hello, and Andy, hello, hello. So, here we are. Um, hey, Marcy. So, I thought I would come on and talk about what's going, um, going on this week, what's coming up this week, because I have some exciting news. And also, I've got some friend mail that I want to open and share. And now we've got some friends, <laughs> some friends jumping in. <laughs> Hello, you're going to cover it all tonight. I know, like I was writing my title and I was like, oh, just everything. I don't even know. So I just put it all in there. <laughs> Why not, right? Okay, so yeah, Jeff says he left, but you're back. Um, let's see who else is there. Hi. Okay. Defer cat and Carol. Hello, Monica, Nikki and Nevada. Hello. Hello. Hi, Janet. Okay. And Jeff says he can only take me once a day. Then why are you here? Just cause the bell rings doesn't mean you have to come, right? <laughs> He's drawn by the bell. I don't know. Saved by the bell? Maybe. Okay. Hey, Angela. Hi, Tracy. Okay. So let me jump off. Oh gosh. I just uploaded a bunch of shirts. To merch and I'm getting all I keep it keeps dinging that they're going live I'm like Arr! which is great but also annoying that it's gonna keep happening okay so before we get started I just want to say tomorrow on my channel at 2 central we are going to have I'm gonna have an interview with the cufflink king and I'm so excited about this we we're in the jewelry group, our jewelry lovers and sellers group. We are focusing on men's accessories this month, and the, the Cuffling King is coming over, and I'm interviewing him about all things Cuffling. And you would be surprised how much there is to learn and know. He has a website called CufflingKing.com, and he's done a bunch of um, what are they called? The eBay articles where you write, you know, informational articles about eBay. I mean, not eBay, but about Cufflinks. So. I'm super excited that he's coming over to let me interview him tomorrow. Again, two o'clock central time. And he's just very passionate about cufflinks. I thought I was, but it, it's like with Amber last month. I know I, I, I know stuff about Amber, but the more I dug, you know, dove into it, the more I learned how much I had to learn. There's another one. Ding. Okay, enough, enough. Um, so anyway, he's coming over tomorrow, and he's also going to record a bit of a snippet for the Jewelry Lovers group that's going to be just for the group, um, because it is a paid group that I have. Um, the link is in the description box if you're interested. We have a lot of awesome things going on, and we've got Lynn from the, the Thai Chest, who's also just joined the group, that is going to be schooling us more about other men, men's accessory stuff. So I'm really excited to have her on board. So yay, if you're not there, be there. Look, what did I say? Can y'all hear the dinging? I'm hoping not, because it just keeps going ding, ding, every time a little email comes through. Okay, so there's that, and I'll probably say it again at the end, but let me say hey in the chat. Here it comes. I uploaded like 25 shirts. So apologies if y'all can hear the binging every time the email comes through. Um, all right. So, hey, Trish is there. Hi, Shereen, Gwen. Hi, Kathleen. Hey, Kelly. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And oh, thank you, Terry. Yes, stripes. <laughs> oh, Jeff. <laughs> um, okay, good. You can't hear the ding. That's good. Hi, Heather. So, earlier, Jeff's, was, if you're not here live and you're wishing you could see what they're talking about in the chat, pardon me. I just, yeah. Um, earlier, we had merch talk, and Jeff and I, before the show started, I was wearing a striped shirt, and I didn't want to wear stripes for the show, so I was like, hang on, I got to go change. So I went and changed, but then now stripes, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I'm doing this live, so whatever. All right, so, and then I had notes. Here we go. Notes. All right. So, um, again, I didn't get to my weekly sales um, or weekly updates for this Sunday. I need to just slow down because I get rolling and I get excited and I just start babbling. Anyway, so, um, so yeah, eBay and Etsy are going pretty well. I did my weekly sales last week on Wednesday. I'm planning on doing it again this coming Wednesday. 
And they've slowed down a bit, but I've also not been listing as much. I did sell that Barbie car. I don't know if y'all remember that Barbie alarm clock that sold today. So that was a really good sale. Um, so Wednesdays, I'm trying to get those weekly sales updates going again. And also on Etsy, I have the link down below. If you're interested in starting on Etsy, there's a link where you can get 40 free listings. If you go through this link, you get 40 free and I get 40 free. And so it's win-win. Um, okay, I've got more friends jumping in. So I'm going to say, hey, and try to slow myself down. I just get, I don't know wound up. <laughs> um, okay, so I see Nikki. Hi. Hey, Joni. How's it going? Um, in the sun by the beach, traveling tomorrow. If you join the group, are the videos saved? They are. We have a file section with the videos that are saved, and they're put up privately uh, for the group. So yeah, they're definitely there. And there's so much really good information. So I've on my website, I've, I've been starting to catalog a lot of the stuff, but then there are things that are going on privately in the group, things that are being shared there. So it's really awesome. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Heather. <laughs> she says, I like my, so I want, I want to be a wizard. Thank you. Um, okay. Do you have to be on Facebook if you join the group? Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's in Facebook. So yeah. I mean, you pay for it and you join through my website and then you come over because I had a few, I have a few people I've been chasing down because they've joined but then they haven't come and like joined in the group. So come in back and then click the join in the group. So yeah. Hey Jason, how's it going? Okay, so that's eBay and Etsy. I got a few things up and listed and I've been sharing how I'm editing some of my jewelry pictures in the group too. So that's been really helpful. Um, and then on merch, things have slowed down. So I don't know if any of you, I know some of you in the chat are, are um, selling shirts on merch and I mean, we talked earlier on the show, on the merch talk show, about just con conspiracy theories. And Jeff says it's, it's a slump, summer slowdown. So it could be that. It could be probably that. But things have slowed down quite a bit. Um, last month, pardon me, last month um, I made almost $2,000, which it might actually end up being 2000 once everything gets said and done because there are things that roll over and uh, whatever. Um, so now this month things have really slowed down. I was selling about 10 to 15 shirts a day last month. This month it's closer to like between seven and 10 shirts. Jeff says, you know, I'm right. I'm always right. I know in the sun by the beach, not everybody wants to be on Facebook. I get it. Um, but I didn't, I, I tried, here's the thing. I tried Patreon. If you've been watching me for a while, I thought I may be able to do what I'm doing now with the group on Patreon and kind of get the same. I just couldn't make it work the way I'm looking for. So yeah. Um, yeah. Once again, <laughs> yeah, it's, it'll be okay though. Cause I mean, last, last month, my merch sales were, was the first time I beat my December numbers. So, and that was six months in, right? Six months after. So, you know, hang on. Pardon me. So it, it'll, it'll pick back up. So if you're, I mean, now is the time to start getting things up. I, my phone dinged and now I'm like, I don't even know who's missed, whatever. Okay. So yeah. Um, okay. So next up. So on YouTube, I have been slowing down. I know I keep talking about, I have all these unboxings I need to do. And I finally just realized, man, I just don't even know. And I'm going to have to just slow down with the unboxings. I did cancel uh, quite a few things. So I've canceled Ipsy and Sephora because I could just, ne I mean, I had two months worth that I never could get to. And I have one more month coming, but I just, I can never get to it. Right. And I have boxes. I would show you, but my room is a mess right now, but I have my firefly boxes. I have a Harry Potter box. I've got this stuff back here behind me. I just, I can't get to it. I love doing it, but I, can't, I just can't get to it. I have so many other things going on with merch videos and eBay and jewelry stuff. So it'll, it'll happen. They'll just kind of be fun surprise videos when I can get to them. Right. Maybe it's the summertime. I bet that's it because my kids are home. They're just home all day. Um, so <laughs> that happens and I can't get stuff done. So I'm looking in the chat to see if I missed anything else. Okay. There we go. Um, okay. So I talked about that. Okay, well, okay, this might go quick. So I got some friend mail. 
Wait, I had a letter too. Is it still? One moment. My bag is on the floor. I went to the, yep, there it is. I went to the post office today and I got some friend mail from Nancy and she sent me some information about a piece that I was researching. She sent me some eBay info. So I'm going to have to dig into that. I just got it today, so I have not um, been able to go dig deeper into that. But thank you so much, Nancy, for that. I just saw a question pop up. Jason said, just listen to your podcast with Glenn and Yang. It was great. Oh, thanks. They're, yeah, I just love those guys. I talked to Yang the other day on the phone. We just, yeah, just catching up. It was good. Um, so, and if you don't listen to that podcast, it's really good. Merch Minds Podcast. You can get it on YouTube. No, iTunes. That's what it is. Very good. Um, in the Sun by the Beach, did you make 2000 profit on merch? I did. Yeah, last month. It was just under. We'll see how the final, the final numbers come out at the end of the month. So this is my estimated royalties. So that was my profit. Now, what I do is I take 30%, set it aside for taxes because taxes. And I have right now about 1400 shirts up. Do I promote my shirts? I've done, I've done a little bit, like I pinned them a while back. I was doing more with Instagram and promoted pins on Pinterest, but not so much anymore. Um, and while, while I've gotten some slack or not slack, but flack rather from some people that what you've got so many shirts up. I feel like everybody has their own path. Like Young has about 400 shirts up and he made like $4,500 last month. I mean, he made over $4,000 last month. So that's amazing with 400 shirts. I have a lot more shirts, but I'm just spreading a really wide net and that's just working for me. So I'm happy with it. Um, oh, thanks, Caramel. She says, amazing all the things you do. Thank you. Hi, Julie. Hello, hello. Do I use Google Trends very much? I find it a bit overwhelming. No. I should though, I should go peek at it because normally I look at, I'll check Twitter, it's hit or miss, very seldomly do I find something. And then when I do, usually it's something that's already, like when when Baron Trump had that shirt that said the expert, I rolled over in the night and saw that tweet like on Twitter and, and I thought, well, it's too late. It's like one in the morning or something. So. I went and looked the next day, and there was already like three pages of shirts for that. Um, but what was the one I got? Oh, there was one that was another another Trump. I think it was Trump Jr. Um, he had a shirt that said "Very Fake News," and I got on that pretty quick. And I mean, it sold maybe two, but hey, that was like ten bucks. So thanks, Trump Jr. Right? Um, yeah. So hey, Leslie, how's it going? Hello, hello. Okay, so let me finish up with the with the friend mail. I've got some more friend mail from Carol. I think Carol's there. Um, Carol's gift shop. Where did my scissors go? Scissors. Now, some of these I did open and peek. This one I tried to open, but apparently my mama bear teeth couldn't claw through this bubble wrap, the uh, bubble mailer. So I thought, and these are some, speaking of this, when you're at garage sales or estate sales or whatever, check the sewing supplies. <clears throat> Pardon me. These scissors are awesome. <clears throat> I can't remember if I was at a garage sale or an estate sale, but I got these scissors. They're Singer scissors. They're awesome. That's what I'm saying. I got a whole bunch of sewing stuff at this. I guess it was a garage sale and for so cheap. So yeah, anyway, <laughs> they're awesome. I haven't, I haven't really used them because I have a lot of, why am I talking about scissors? But anyway, I am. So I have a ton of scissors all over the place because I'm, I never have them when I need them, but I was using those for the first time today and I loved them. So, okay. To Margaret from Carol, Carol's gift shop in Arizona. Oh my gosh. Is it so hot for you right now? Usually we're like boiling and it's been hot and muggy, but I hear the weather in some states like over, we haven't hit the over a hundred yet. I don't think maybe, maybe just at, but we've had a really wet summer. <coughs> Pardon me. That was right in your ear. Apologies. Um, it's amazing that you and Yang made so much money in March. Right. And that's the thing. Glenn has been making last Glenn Zubia. He's got a channel called hustler hacks. 
And he has a video where he talks about how he made, last year, he profited $55,000 on merch. So it's doable. So that's the thing. Like When I saw that, I really started trying to step up my game. When I started seeing some of Glenn's numbers, some of Mike Peterson's numbers, yeah. <laughs> Leslie says, I have those scissors. They're awesome. I know. I'm like, who sold these scissors? Fools. They're mine now. <laughs> they're giant and they're very sharp and awesome. Anyway, so, <laughs> hey, Tam, how's it going? Glenn does. He does. And the thing, okay, here's the thing about Glenn and Young both. They're such nice guys. I know Glenn, I mean, I know Young on the podcast plays like grumpy, but he's really not like that in real life. He's really nice. Sorry, Glenn, I'm young if I blew your persona. Okay, so, oh, this is a nice thank you card. I'm not going to read the whole thing because it might be private. Okay, so she sent me a nice little thank you card with a pretty bird. Thank you. And here's what she sent me. It is Harry Potter stationery. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. What does it have in there? Can I open it? I can't open it. Can I open it? It's got a stamp and stickers. Oh, send letters to your send letters to your favorite wizards and muggles with this complete everything but the owl stationery box. Uh, there's a drawer, six sheets of stationery, ten envelopes, sticker sheet, rubber stamp, pocket photo album, and a dress book. <gasps> Do I use it? I don't know. I might use it. I might not. I might just keep it and look at it. How awesome is it? Okay. Thank you so much, Carol. Only 107 today. Oh, hey, Nick. Nick's there now. Hi, Nick. Everybody say hi to Nick. That's my good buddy in there. He's popping in before bedtime because it's what, like almost 2 in the morning, 1.30 or so for you? Um, so, Carol, thank you so much for that. That's, you know my love for the Harry Potter. I appreciate it. Yes. Okay, then, I don't know what I've done, but I keep, maybe I ate or drank too quickly. Pardon me. It's real, though, right? So this one I was able to tear into. This one is from Plum's Books. <laughs> Tam says, I've been having technical difficulties, but my shout-out's coming. Yes, yes. I, uh, maybe I said hi during your technical difficulty. Hi, Tam. How's it going? Hello. And apologies if I missed you in the chat. So, okay. This is from my friend Maggie. I already peeked. I'm not going to lie. This is from my friend Maggie. And up from Maggie. And if you, you've seen her in the chats, Maggie Doodle. That's Maggie. Hand painted designs by, I can't read it because my eyeballs are not. So Maggie wrote a very nice card and she is sending me the first jewelry jar she's seen in the world. Maggie, are you sure you want to do this? I couldn't resist picking it up. I could, I could tell myself that I'd get around to dealing with it myself, but it would probably spend months on my on the top of my death pile. So, yep, yep. I thought you might get a kick out of uh, digging through it. Maggie, that's so sweet. Um, so, this is from Maggie, who I just love. Maggie's so awesome. So, Maggie and I have done some, when I was doing Chatterbooks, um, which was like an online book club. It's, we still have our Facebook group. We did four... Anyway, we need to pick it up. We talked about picking it up again. It's just a lot of stuff, right? A lot going on. But Maggie came on to, to one of the panels, and so I got to talk to her in real life, so it was really nice. I'd like to meet her, meet her in real life, right? I like Maggie. So anyway, here it is. She sent it in glass and everything, and it stayed intact. Maggie! She said this is her first jewelry jar she had ever found, ever. Julie says, my second girl, Katie, is an HP fanatic. Well, I'll keep that in mind, Julie, because, because sometimes I get multiples of the same thing. And I think I have some buttons that are, I have more than one of the buttons. Leslie says, smack that thumbs up. Yes. Hit the thumbs up, friends. Ah, Maggie, I almost feel bad going through this. But I know you would want me to, because that's why you sent it to me. All right. Oh, I should have brought a jar or a box to put it in. I'll just, here, I'm clearing a spot on my on my table next to me. 
And now I want this water. <clears throat> so how's everything going? <laughs> I'm looking in the chat again. Right, Maggie's card is so adorable. I have a, a thread going on my Texas Gal Treasures Facebook, Facebook page. Pardon me. And it's like post the first cat or post the first picture of an animal that you have on your computer or on your phone. Um, so people have been sharing pictures of their pets and things there. And she posted a picture of her kitties and they're so cute, right? I have four cats, so yeah, kind of part. I, I didn't really, I had a cat growing up, but we always have dogs. So anyway, bye AK to Red. Oh, thanks you guys. Okay, so here we go. Here's the jar. I'm going to put it. Oh, you know what? I should have been more prepared. I do not have a magnet or a loop or anything. Okay, that's cool. We're going to go with it. And I'm dumping it right here on the table. Hmm. Maybe I should have pulled it out of the jar. Right there. We've already committed. Let's just go with it. There we go. Okay. Ha-ha. Now it's empty. So I'm going <laughs> to... I didn't think this through. So first thing... Oh! First thing I pick up is... It's like a little mermaid. But she's like a charm or a pendant or something. I like her. She has boobies. Okay. That's not why I like her. I just like mermaids. Okay. All right. <laughs> Okay, then, this is cool. This is kind of different. I like that. Oh, it's missing a stone, but that's oh, the couple stones. I haven't seen anything quite like this. We have got a, it looks like it's a Jordan, right? Like it's supposed to be a basketball, well, it is a basketball player, but it's sort of striking that dunking pose like Jordan did. And I don't see any kind of marks on it, but I, I've never seen anything quite like that. Oh no, Carmel. Go into the cat spade Friday, bringing her home. She had a seizure. Oh, th she, but she was recovered. Thank goodness. I, I'm curious about this because I have never seen anything quite like this. So I'm going to have to look that up. Maggie, if you want it back, tell me. Anything you see here, Maggie, if you're like, oh, darn, let me know. And I'll send it back to you. We've got a stretchy bracelet. And, uh-oh. We've got a necklace. It looks probably faux gold. Yeah. I am looking at the clasps. And I can see where it's kind of been rubbed, rubbed off a bit. So there's that. And I, gosh, I really feel bad that I'm not prepared. Because I don't have. Yeah, oh well. Then, hey, 34 viewers. Go over there and hit the thumbs up button. We got 13 up and one down. Oh, darn. Well, you can't please everybody. Then, oh, what is this? Somebody's tassel. But look, it's Gryffindor colors. And it says class of 81. Oh, it's a tassel. There we go. Class of 81. That was a bit before my time. A bit. I, um, uh, could it be a volleyball player? No, I don't think so. Here, I'll show you the ball. I think it's a basketball like that yeah i uh, i would have graduated in 92 had i graduated but that's one of those things hey desert wing girl then there's this cool vintage red white and blue bead necklace that's cute too and the closure is like so like so there now, uh, I probably should have pulled things out. <laughs> Deferkat says, my high school year, 81. Was it? Okay, cool. Mine would have been 92. So we have a key that you can put a picture into, and it's, I guess, a pendant like that. Maggie, I'm surprised you didn't want to keep this. So here we've got a little broken... Chain. If I'm going too fast, you'll tell me. Let's see. We've got some little rhinestone earrings like that. 
What were your colors, Defer Cat? What were our colors? Now I'm thinking about it. I wasn't really in a school spirit, I guess. I can't remember. Blue and white, I think. I think it was blue and white. Okay, I'm trying to figure this out. Now Maggie, I think, is in Pennsylvania. So this has got a like fake coin. Looks like a quarter, but golden. And then it's got this blue woven... I have no idea. It's too short to be a belt, hopefully. Maybe it is a belt. I'll bet that's what it is. It's just not a belt for me. <laughs> so I think this is a belt for a smaller, well, maybe it'll go around me. Look, no, not quite. That's okay. Ta-da. So I think that's a belt. Sure. Okay, next up. We have got, oh, this is so cute, WKC, which I believe stands for Westminster Kennel Club. And there is a dog. It looks like maybe a, kind of like a Weimariner, but not quite. Somebody will probably know. It's not quite a lab either. So there's a dog, yeah? And I'm looking at the back to see how it's, it's got this kind of screw on stud back. Maybe it pulls off. No, I think I have to unscrew it. Yeah, I have to unscrew it. That's pretty cool. And it looks like it has a spot where like a ribbon may have hung. So I'll have to do some digging on that, right? Which I think if you, if I'm not right, if that's not Westminster Kennel Club, then let me know. Um... Yeah, I'm going through the jar that Maggie sent. And if you, you've been in the chest, you know Maggie. Maggie Doodle. And then here is a really cute little earring. It's missing a stone, but that's okay. There's some button covers. These are plastic Christmas button covers. Maybe a pointer. Yeah, maybe a, some kind of pointer or setter or something. Yeah. Like that. We I grew up with boxers, so... I know the square face of a boxer. And I'm going out to see my sister, hopefully, on Thursday. So my sis and I are going, no, my, my kids and I are going out to my sister's place on Thursday for the weekend. Hopefully. She has done something to her foot. And she might have broken it. We'll find out. <laughs> She's going to the doctor soon. So we've got these little earrings. One of them is missing the hook, but that's easily fixed. It's got these, what I think are faux, little faux pearls. But they're cute. Very cute. It might be a judge pin, Duffer Cat says. Yeah. I'm in Brevard County. Okay, cool. Is that where they have the Westminster show? I'm not sure. Or you could be responding to somebody else. Then we've got a little train that is from a game. I don't know what, though. It looks like a game piece. There's that. Maybe the dog group or something. There's one sold from 1951. Oh, cool. Does mine have a date? I don't know. No, mine doesn't have a date on it. Westminster WCC has dog shows that gives award for best in class. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Have you guys seen the movie Best in Show, which is a mockumentary by Christopher Guest, the guys that did like Spinal Tap and A Mighty Wind and things like that. It's hilarious. Defercat says that the pin that she's seeing sold for 15, but it had a different dog on it, different class. Um, okay. Did Elaine pop in? Leslie's saying, hi, Elaine. Oh my gosh. Hey, she did. Hey, Elaine. How's it going? How are you? Oh my gosh. How's your foot? Jason's funniest movie. I know, right? It's so funny. If you have not seen Best in Show, you've got to see it. You've got to see it. Elaine, what are you up to? You want to come talk? Because I'm like talking to myself. You want to come talk to me? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so then next up, I'm going through what Maggie sent me, Elaine. Let me know and I'll send you a link. This looks like a little, I guess it's a, Anklet. It looks like an anklet here with little shells and stuff. 
I'm hoping that when I come see Elaine, we can do a vid together. We haven't done anything in a while. Let's see, salvage gal creations. I've gotten six. My question is, do you clean the jewelry? Um, I lightly clean it. I'll wipe it down if it's really gross and dirty or making my hands all nasty. But and and then as far as silver stuff goes, unless it's like black, you know, just you know when the tarnish gets so bad that it's horrible, I'll lighten. I'll leave some of the tarnish because some people really like that, you know, tarnished look. So. All right, Elaine, maybe she just popped in for a second. She might be putting her son to bed. Okay, then we have got some little pearly beads. They're just like Mardi Gras beads, but they're pearls. <laughs> there she is. She's back. I'm digging. I'm digging. Her stuff. Hang on. Something is broken, and I'm trying to keep. Elaine says she's staying off her foot. Good. Good. Oh, my gosh, Elaine. Dad apologized to me today. He called me to say sorry, and I'm never going to forget it in my whole life. So, <laughs> not that my dad doesn't ever admit he's wrong or anything, because he does, but he went out of his way to call me and say sorry. So, I was really like, oh, yeah. Anyway, I'll tell you about it later. So, there, that sounded really bad. I have a great dad. He's awesome. But he did. He called and apologized to me. She's like, for what? <laughs> okay, I'll tell, I'll tell. So, here's what happened. First of all, I was irritated. I was. I was so irritated. Okay, we had just left the grocery store, me and the guys, and I had a car full of groceries and two cranky kids ready to, to eat lunch and then take their rest. And the sky over where you know I live where we live my dad my parents live about a mile away from me just black and my parents went out of town this morning and I get a phone call as I'm driving home thinking oh please let me get home before the uh, like storm breaks so I can get the groceries in and I get this phone call on the way home from my mom and she's like Margaret you have to go to the house right now because I need this information that's on the printer for our hotel and our flight back, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you need this right now? She's like, yes, right now, right now. I'm like, okay, you know, what are you gonna do? Say no, I'm like, all right, here we go. So I get over there and I get into the computer room where they have the, you know, printer and all this stuff. There's no, there's no paper there. There's like one little paper that has to do with their flight. So I'm calling them back and my, I, my mom's trying to talk me through it. Like it's on the printer. And there's papers there. Take a picture of it. Send it to me. I'm like, there's nothing. There's nothing. You know, there was like some older whatever itinerary. So I hear my dad in the background. It's on the printer. It's on the printer. And he's not one that he's usually pretty mellow. Like he's a mellow dude, right? And I'm like, why is he yelling at me? And they're like right around that same time, kaboom, like lightning thunder. The just pouring down right. I'm like, great. Okay. So she already had the paper Elaine saying in the room. I know she did. So then, you know, I'm hearing him in the background fussing, fussing at me because I can't find this paper that's not there. So anyway, I'm like, it's not there. Whatever. I'm like, is this the same thing that he emailed me the other day? Anyway, long story short, I get home wet. And and this was in like that same time frame that I had 45 minutes to get home get the things unpacked, get the kids fed, get the kids to their rest time, get the merch talk set up, have the link to the guys and not look like a drowned rat. So I'm just like, <sighs> um, so then later afterwards, I get this phone call from my dad, like, like, oh gosh, here we go. He calls, he's like, so yeah, we got to the hotel room and I was able to look in my bag a little more carefully and the papers were in my bag. So sorry. <laughs> So that was what happened. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> it was a good story, right? And that's the thing. Like, it, I can't. It's pretty rare that that I get upset with with him. <laughs> but when my, you know, parents, they get to a certain age that they <laughs> he's like, I knew it. Yes, they had the papers the whole time. Um, where they start both blaming each other, you know, like if something goes missing, 
Like one of them's like, you moved it. Well, you never put it there. Blah. So, bonsoir, Gabby. Hello. Yeah. <clears throat> they had it. Elaine, where are you? I need to send you a link. Are you presentable? You should come talk to me. <laughs> okay, so I'm still going through the uh, jar that Maggie <laughs> said. This is why I said I, I put that super long, weird title because I just like, I don't know what's going to come up tonight. Yeah, Elaine, send me a, a message in there, Elaine, and I'll send you the link. So, hi, Sherry. Hello, hello. So, this is cute. This has got some silver tone beads and dangles on it, hearts and leaves and and all kinds of stuff. That's really cute. Pardon me. <laughs> I don't know if I'm presentable. Well, presentable or not, I'm going to send you the link just in case you want to. Pardon me, everybody. I haven't talked to my sister today, so. Um, <laughs> Marcy says, sounds like me and my husband. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's true. Alrighty, Elaine, I'm sending you a link just in case you want to come hang out. I don't have to. <clears throat> but I, have, I haven't, have you checked your merch account late, lately, Elaine? Elaine. I'm sending it through Facebook. Beep. There you go, if you want. All right. <clears throat> so I think I showed you this as I was telling you the story. So this is a, it's like a wire, you know, wound bracelet like that. Very colorful. And this one, oh, I saw the mark, the ending on it, but now I can't find it. Where did it go? So here's my question on this really long necklace. So it's super long that you could put it on and like wind it around. <laughs> and then it's got this little barrel clasp on it. Elaine says, okay, send the link, but you might have quite a wow, what happened to you factor. Have you been playing with bees again? Did you get bit by bees or something? <clears throat> oh, Kelly says, I have, haven't been able to watch lately. I have a five-year-old grandson for the summer. Oh, bye, Jason, bye. Um, okay, I am grabbing up some more stuff to share. So this, oh, it's a hair clip, like a, hi, no, is it a hibiscus or a, that's not a hibiscus, what is it? It's not an orchid, like almost like a gardenia, but the pinky colors on the edges are not right. I'm not putting it in my hair. It came from Maggie, but I don't know where she got it. Oh my gosh, see, I shouldn't have dumped it. Here's the thing, and I've got little seed beads pouring out on my table. That was my fault. Okay, this is cool. <clears throat> this, oh, it's a hair barrette. Even cooler. So, but it's missing one stone there. Maybe just one. But it's a hair clasp. That would be so cool. I'm going to have to look around for another stone for that one. Because that's a really cool, you know, pull your hair back. And it's big. How big is that? It's like big. It's big as my palm. Okay digging through this trying not to get seed beads all over come on and here we've got another tassel the other one was 81 this one is 78 so somebody up there has this one's a little faded i think no this is different black and is that pink kind of a pinky color yeah like so <clears throat> then yeah, definitely a learning experience here. Maybe shouldn't have dumped it. That's okay. We have another pendant. Like so, it's pretty. And it's, I mean, it's got an opening, but it also is a magnetic one like that. Like so. There's that. Do I sell this stuff on eBay? Some of it, yeah. Some of it will go by itself. Some will go into a lot. It just kind of depends. And I've been going through making up some lots to sell on eBay. And then some of the things I'm starting to set aside to put on a local garage sale site. How many years? Uh, I'm not sure. Gabby, I'm not quite sure what you're asking. How, how old are my parents? How many years? Um, what are they? 70, maybe? Yeah. 
Okay, so we've got this necklace, which kind of has a Brighton look to it, but I'm not, no, I don't think it's actually Brighton. No, and you can see where the finish is really rubbing off. Okay, there is that. Then I hear my kids, my husband came home and took over because, because, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Turtle Trader says, use a vacuum hose to, to suck up all those beads. Yeah, I may have to, or a little, one of those. <sighs> my brain just like, dust buster, right? Okay, so here, this is awesome. It's got all these, He's like, purple, and this, hey. Mute me. <laughs> I'm going to keep showing this while you go mute me. <laughs> Can you hear me, Elaine? Can you, you can't hear me? You just said, no. -uh. Okay, now I do. Okay. Sorry, I'm still trying to figure this out. <laughs> <gasps> oh. I might have to run and call you. No, no, I hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. What happened yeah. to the mattress? Oh, I have to give it back to my mom. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> you know we're coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, she'll be, she'll be a gone. I'll go back and get it. <laughs> well, I mean, is that the same one that the kids, one of the kids sleep on? No. No, that's the one granddad sleeps on. Yeah, but he's not coming yeah. with me. Yeah, I know. But it's, funny how, it. it's funny how you called it. What? About her, them having the papers with them the whole time. Oh, I knew it. I mean, I they have pulled that every time I go there. It's always something like that. <laughs> or he told her this, and she's like, no, I told you that. And they're both like, <laughs> yes. talk about wires crossed. Oh, my gosh. Well, <laughs> And the thing is, my mom the whole time on the phone, she's like, and this whole time, you were saying I was going to forget something. You said I was going to forget something. I was just like, come Poor on. Dad. See what? Poor dad. She made him apologize. That's what I was thinking. I was like, she must have told him to call me and say sorry. <laughs> Probably. I can, yeah, I'm like, not that he, I mean, you know, he's laid back. But yeah, like to make the effort to call and to say, I almost fell out of my chair. I was like, what? <laughs> Go to say sorry? Yeah, I'm like, nothing. Oh. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. Joni says, what happened to you this time, Elaine? Oh, um, <laughs> I don't know yet. I don't know if my foot's broken or I have, I know I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, uh, plantar fasciitis. Oh so, my gosh, have you been Googling? Huh? Yeah, because I don't know what's wrong with my foot. <laughs> don't Google it. Don't Google it. I don't know, but I have my appointment Wednesday, so I'll find out. Okay. Well, at first I thought you just bruised it, like, because Randy has bruised his heel before. Is it still swollen? Oh, yeah. Is it hot to the touch? Yeah. Dude, it's it's broken. It's fractured or something. It can't be. I, I never fell on it. You know, I never matter. I never twisted my ankle. You know, I put all my weight on there because of my my hip. So for all all of you folks out there that don't know, I need a, a hip replacement. So I put all my weight on my left side. Well, it's finally caught up with me because my right leg's a little shorter than my left leg. So I'm like, I walk like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know the duck at the lemonade stand. <laughs> oh my gosh! Da 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 da. da. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Unfortunately. <laughs> well, I'm hoping that it's okay. Joni says if that's the case, I can direct you to some good sandals. Oh wait, cause she okay? Yeah, because I have to wear like you know really thick shoes. <laughs> yeah, she says I have that in both my feet. <laughs> oh really? What you say? That's gonna hurt. Okay, yeah. where'd you go? Okay, you're there. You are. Are you talking about me or Joni? I'm talking about you. Oh, okay. I, didn't, I didn't hear you for a second. So, because you're real fuzzy. Well, well, you know, Maggie sent me a jar of jewelry, so I was going through that. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's see what well, else. Joni, what kind of? Yeah. Okay, let me do that. Joni will share what kind of sandal she uses. Okay. Hopefully. Okay. So next up. 
I, and again, I'm going to have to get a loop because I see something on that. <gasps> that looks like, like a, oh, that looks almost like an opaly. What do you call that with the blue and the green? Ooh. Right? I don't know. Aqua. But that's like an aqua. That's pretty. And it's got a maker's mark on the back. I'm gonna like a 925? Hang on. I got a magnifying glass over here. Of course, I left my loop and all the other stuff. It's either under something on my table or... You got to get your squinters? I got it. Okay. Yeah, right? Jody says she, they're called oof, ufos, and they're the only thing I can wear. O-O-F-O-S. Ufos. Okay. I'll Google ufos. So this is marked... Oh, Maggie. If you sent me gold, your first jewelry jar, this is the first jewelry jar Maggie ever found. Oh, she wow. It to me because she's never found one before. It says 10K, wait, no, 10G, 14K. I don't know what that means, 10G. Huh. I know what 14K means. Yeah. But not 10G. So. Like 10 grams? Mm, no, there's no way. Not heavy like yeah. that. Let's see if there's a mate, but that's the back. Well, that's a good question, because I found an earring that had an opal in it and sterling silver. Uh -huh. I found it on the ground and had four little diamonds in it. What? And this is, this is when I went to um, the Japanese gardens last year. Oh. So I went everywhere looking for a lady that had like a missing earring, and I was asking and whatever. Well. I forgot that I still had it and I found it in the truck the other day it was like you know how you get build up of stuff in your vehicle after a while and then you're like oh yeah I had that that was like down at the bottom yeah but I only have one earring can you I mean would somebody buy one earring yeah no. I'm not I'm looking at it now I'm like I don't think it's a 10 it looks like I O G this is not the best this is not like my 10G means little gold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's I-O-G. This is not my normal loop, so it's just like a... Where's my phone? Let me take a picture of it on my phone and zoom it in. Okay. I wonder if the mate's there. Well, there's these other bits. They feel kind of tinny, though. But, I don't. again, I don't have a magnet with me, so... Hi, Kelly. Electric sorry, plate, I-O-G. Is that electric plate? Sorry, sorry. See, I know H... G P is heavy gold electroplate. But I I've never seen I O P. Wait, I O G. What did I say it was? Oh my gosh, I can't even think. Anyway, how have things been? Otherwise. Listen, yeah. Um, let's see, I've got another bee removal call. I've got to call them back tomorrow to do one in the ceiling in somebody's garage. You're not doing it with your foot like that, are you? Probably. Lane. I need the job. Yeah. Um, yeah. What is, um, oh gosh, I forgot your friend's name that's been. Working. Oh, Zach that's been helping? Yeah. Yeah. He could probably help me if I did it later in the week. Yeah. Oh. Okay, here's the picture of what the mark is. Looks like an I, an O, and a G, and then 14K. Maybe that's research the IOG. Maybe that's the brand, the, you know. Yeah. Get that up real quick. IOG. I mean, it could be electroplated, but again, I don't have my magnet with me, so that would. That's what Turtle Trader said. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it could be. It could be. Let's see if the mate's here. I would just, I'll send it back to Maggie. <laughs> If she sent me her first jewelry jar and then there was like gold in it, surprise, right? All right, how sweet. Do what? I said, how sweet. <laughs> oh, she, it was so nice of her to send to me. So then there's this earring. I don't see a mate, but maybe. We'll see. That's okay. cool. Ah, oh, was it Turtle Trader that was saying to get the hose? The hose attachment and then put like a stocking on it to suck up the beads so the beads are not going into the 
Um, I have to scroll back. I think it was him that was saying that. Yeah, use a stocking over the hose to catch the bees if you're going to use them. Yeah, that's a good idea. I never thought of that. Idaho Opal and Gem, Leslie saying, question mark. Hmm. Could be. That sounds promising. I will send it back to Maggie. I'm trying to see if there's a mate for it. I would feel horrible if the first jar she sent me had, had gold in it. Okay, there's a naughty mess. Not a naughty mess, but a naughty mess. Oh, well, <laughs> disappointed some few people. I know. I'm sorry, y'all. So it's got a lot of chains that I will need to detangle. And I'm looking for anything that might be... This is kind of cool. It's got these metal feathers. If you can see that. Yeah. Um, gracious, I'm looking to see if there's, oh, this is kind of cool. Let's see. This earring, I only see one of them though. It looks like that for the stone. Huh. Let's see. Idaho Opal and Gem Corporation, Leslie says. From Parlay Gems, it seems. Parlay Gem designers are guaranteed to be handmade using the finest materials. Design beers are registered trademark Parlay or IOG. One mm -hmm. which lady says, thank you. Oh, very cool. Oh my gosh, Maggie. I'm gonna have to send it back to you. If you sent me 14K and pearls. Okay, then there are some mismatched earrings. We've got this gold knot like there. Thank you so much, you guys in the chat for looking that up. And then we've got another ring that's got a missing stone. It is adjustable, but still oh, very whoa. cool. Isn't it cool? Yeah. The stone, or maybe it doesn't have a missing stone. That's a leaf, Never mind. Oh, even better. Okay. It isn't a missing stone, it's a leaf. That's pretty cool. Bling. Fancy. Yeah, very blingy. Someone told you what it stood for, yes, yes. Yes, they told me what it stood for. All right, and then this is, oh, this would be cool if the mate's there. I'll have to look. This is a little earring. It looks like a little feather, but look how it is, like so. It's very cool. Hmm. And this one is marked 925. So what is that, an, uh, an ear thread type thing? Yeah, I mean, it looks like, I mean, it's got like a back for, like an earring, but it's very close. So it looked like it would, it looks like it would just like hug the ear. Or maybe yeah. you could turn it up. Turn it sideways and do like sideways. a ear crawler. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very cool. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping, I'll have to dig through that, um, that knotted stuff to see. And then we've got a napier bracelet like that. Like so. Oh, I'm going to have to dig through and see if the, the mate for some of these are there. Because, awesome. But I think even that would sell by itself, like a nice little ear crawler. Because if you've got multiple earrings, you know, you might only want, you might only want one. I don't know. So how did Neil's show go? It was so good. It was so good. Yeah. We went to eat at Beer Peretti's. We met up with some friends of ours. And then we went to see Neil Gaiman. That was really good. Wish you could have been there. Me too. Maybe next time. I know. I think he played in Austin. He was in Austin and he was in Dallas. So. He, so he's already done Dallas. I mean, Austin. Yeah, right? he did Austin. And he's on his way to Dallas or he's already done all the shows here in Texas? He had already done that, yeah. Okay. Would you want, would you, which is easier for you to get to, Austin or Dallas? Austin. Well, last time he came, we went to Austin to see him because he didn't play Houston. So maybe next time. What are you looking at? I'm taking a photo to show you something. What I have hanging above my computer. What is it? My mobile. Oh, that's right. Lower your phone a little bit. Your B. It's like little B mobile. It is. It's like a. 
They're made out of wool. That's so cool. Did you order it from Etsy? Yep. Oh, very cool. That's awesome. I get distracted because I'm looking up because they're moving. Oh, I can't wait to see <laughs> Dad was like, why are you going? She's just going to be here at the end of the next week anyway. Well, did you tell them that, you know, kids want to come and, like, hang out? Yeah. We want to go. It's only time because August is already full. Mm hmm Yeah, I'm like, yeah, we want to go hang in the country and not be bit by snakes. Yeah, and, like, look at rattlesnakes and stuff. Yeah, yeah. She fa Elaine found a rattlesnake under her... My what? deck, on the corner of my deck. <laughs> she went to water something and... Hi, rattlesnake. Yep. Yeah, unfortunately, they don't really rattle. They didn't rattle. They stop rattling, and so I kind of got lucky with that because I was about eight inches from the baby rattlesnake, and it never rattled. That's scary because so you kind of count on it. Huh? I said, that's scary because you count on it rattling to kind of yeah. warn you. Oh, yeah. Yep, forget that. <sighs> I'm looking for boots for the guys. Bring your boots. Yeah. I'll bring mine. Mikey has some. Yeah, boots. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Carol's gift shop says, could not could that be more cute for your mobile? Isn't that awesome? I know. All right. There is a single earring, which reminds me of Joni, who's in the chat. I don't know why, but it Ooh. just does. So it's oh, one yeah. earring. And it's got this, it doesn't look like it's missing any stones. Uh, maybe it's because Joni does, um, she collects tarot cards. Oh. Yeah. And so this is cool. It's, it's got this brown stone that looks, I don't know, kind of like the moon. Anyway, it's got star and moon and another little stone there. I don't know. It makes me think oh, of yeah. <laughs> So I'll put that to the side because it reminds me of Joni. <laughs> Okay, so pretty much everything else is mismatched stuff. There's this. <laughs> Turtle Trader says, did you eat him? Did he eat the snake? No. <laughs> she was going to try to relocate it. I got yeah. my, my three-foot grip and grab, you know, my little reacher. Mm -hmm. And I grabbed him by the the throat and I just took them out and put them in a box and I played with them for a while. You played with them? Did I poke him? What did you, how do you poke no, him? No, I wasn't poking him. I mean, I just put them in the box and put the lid on there, of course, and sealed it and just was just looking at them. You know, at first I couldn't decide on what I was going to do. So I had them by the throat and I was dragging them around going, okay, where am I going to stick you? Where am I going to put you? <laughs> but no, I mean, I didn't torture it or anything like that. But, <laughs> you know, I have mixed feelings about what I need to do. It's not the snake's fault. I think you made the right evidence, choice. But, though. Huh? I said, I think you made the right choice. Yeah. Well, when you got kids... You gotta yeah. do. What you gotta do. Yeah, you can't. Cause then, like you know, like Dad was saying, you can't take this rattlesnake and set it free on the other side of the creek, and it could go bite somebody else's dog. Or oh yeah, it'd be. I don't want it to be somebody else's problem. So yeah, that's not yeah. cool. Mm mm. So. So yeah, uh, in the sun by the beach, and vintage thrift thrifter um, asked questions about the single earring. Can you take a large single earring and sell it as a pendant? Actually, in one of my last recent hauls, not my last haul, but I had a big amethyst, like one amethyst clip-on earring, and it was this big amethyst piece, one earring. And a viewer bought it, and then she sent me a picture. She she did. She turned it into a pendant. It was beautiful. That's a good idea. Oh, it was gorgeous. It turned out so nice. And then um, can you sell just one earring? Yeah, I mean, from what I've been told lately, People have been saying that mismatched earrings are a thing, but I think I haven't really tried it. So how do you ship jewelry? It just depends. If it's smaller, I'll put it in a little pouch in a bubble mailer. If it's bigger, 
and it might lose stones or break or something. I'll put it in the box. Yeah. Gabby says, put the snake in the animal shelter. Well, being here in Texas, um, especially South Central, there's really not any places that would take them just because of the fact of them being venomous. So, mm -hmm. and I've looked. So, really? Yeah. Yeah. Do you relocate? I mean, when I first bought this property, there was a six foot rattler about that big around out there in the cactus and got them into an ice chest and took them on to some far off road somewhere that just dead into to woods and let them out there. Oh, but, wow. you know, I feel awful if something happened to somebody because of that. So, yeah, that was a big rattler. <laughs> and, I you know, that's, that's huge, Elaine. Mm -hmm. What was he eating out there? Huh? I'm just trying to think what all he was eating out there. Oh, I, I have all that driftwood out there. There's lots of rats out here. There's lots of food out here. Rabbits. Yeah, rat, rabbits. My, field mice. Other snakes. Oh, that's a big rattlesnake. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. Hell no. That's all I got to say. No. Yeah, and, and I'd be afraid to give it to anybody because then I could be a liable or they could just turn it into like a belt or something dumb. You know, I wouldn't want them to do that. So, but, <laughs> so yeah. 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 I mean, I feed the birds out here, so that just would be sad. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen any scorpions? No, actually, I have not yet. Not yet. Not yet. So, yeah. But they're out here. I know they are. That's so I'm like, when we bring our boots, where will we put our boots? In the laundry room, on the rack, off the floor, inside the house. Okay. Or in the mop sink. In the mop That's sink. what I do. Walk in the house. If, if, if they're dirty or there's no room on the rack, I just throw them in the sink. So and then I don't have to worry about snakes in my boots or scorpions in my boots. When I go to the bathroom in the night, should I bring back that black light that you lent me to walk to shine on the floor to light up? Sure, if you want, if you want to, but I suggest don't leave your purse on the floor. <laughs> Do you tell everybody about that incident? I think I've shared. I think I have. So what? What was last year probably? I left my purse on the kitchen floor, and then the next day, we were driving into town, and I was reaching into my purse to get something, and my cats have these little, like, fuzzy mice toys, and I reached in, and I thought, oh, one of the cat, well, like cats, or one of the boys threw one of the little fuzzy mice toys in my purse. I hadn't looked down yet, because <clears throat> those are all brightly colored, like orange or yellow or whatever. I looked down, and there's a mouse in my hand. A straight up real live mouse. Yeah. And I'm in the far back of the van in Elaine's face. Let me show you her face. <laughs> her face. Because uh, I'm in the back row. And then there's, you know, two in front of me. And then dad is driving and Elaine's in the front seat with him. And I'm like, there's a mouse in my purse. <laughs> and all I see is dad's eyes in the rear, rear mirror going. <laughs> 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 laughing. Yep, yep. So, um, yeah, we, we made it back. Where did we stop? Some can be, no, we were at the... Oh, we're at the Gibson's uh, discount store <laughs> where everything you can think of, they have it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we pulled over, and I was like, of course, being me, I'm like, wait, wait, I need to get my phone. I'm trying to get a picture of it. But the little mouse jumped out um, before I could get a picture. <laughs> yeah, so... Well, Biscuit might bring you something special next time. Yeah. Biscuit is Maybe her a, cat. a rabbit. Yeah. Yeah. She, th she thinks he put the mouse. A bird. Has he brought you a bird? Mockingbird. Really? One of the baby ones or one of the big ones? I don't know. Oh, just part of it? It was disassembled, so I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you gotta tell the story about bully and the armadillo. 
How embarrassing. I know. For your big old pit bull. And this is armadillo. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I have um, not so good relationships with armadillos because I do a lot of planning. So really irritates me when they go in there and they uproot and kill everything that I've planted. You know, because they're looking for earthworms, whatever. But, you know, I, I don't go out and shoot them or anything like that. I set out traps and I relocate them for, you know, other gardens or whatever. So finally, one day, Bully got past the fence and he was chasing an armadillo out the back. And, you know, he is just barking and huffing and puffing and he's ready to roll. The hair's going down his back, raising up, and he's charging. As soon as he gets up there, he doesn't know what to do. He just runs circles around it, and he's all, uh, uh, and then he looks up at me, uh, what do I do? And there goes the armadillo. <laughs> Thanks, Holy. And Get he comes it. back, he's all, <laughs> and he comes back, and he's like, and scratching on the door, can I go in the house? <laughs> armadillo. Has the armadillo been back, or did it get scared to death? No, it's been around, rooting around. Oh, my gosh. Out. You would think the bully would have given him a heart attack. Yeah, right? Uh, all he probably do, did was uh, leave a urine trail all the way down so he knows how to find himself back to the house to dig up my plants. But I've bought some hardware cloth. It's a metal hardware cloth. And now when I plant new plants... I will wrap the base of my plants with this hardware cloth and I leave the prong sticking out. Oh. So when they're rooting around, it'll, you know. Poke them in the nose. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. So those plants haven't been dug up. Well, that's good. That's mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to probably call it, but I'll talk to okay. you. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, but I'm going to go out to see you. Thursday. 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 Yeah. And then we'll come home Sunday. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I want to thank everybody who came to watch us live. And I know some friends just popped in like, darn it, I just made it. Oh, Elaine, do you have any farm animals? Uh, I don't have any farm animals, but I keep bees. That's considered a livestock. You're planning on getting some, though. Um, yeah. Uh, chickens and... I'm thinking about goats, but I'm not sure yet. Start with chickens. <laughs> yeah. So. Those are fun. I mean, Randy wants a goat, but they will eat. Yeah, you gotta have more than one. You gotta have two goats, and I'd yeah. want it for the milk, you know, some like Nubian goats or something like that. Yeah. But, they'll eat all your stuff too. Right. So I'd have to have them pinned off and all that. I don't know. I'm I'm on the fence about the goat, so. And they'll get over that fence. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they'll be in your face. They'll, they'll be eating the bark off a of cedar. They're like Houdinis, right, too? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. How did you get on the roof? Uh -huh. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, I climbed the tree, Mom. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Okay, well, thanks, everybody, for coming over to say hey and leave a thumbs up. I see we have two thumbs down over there. Oh. <laughs> Wait, they can't see you. Do it again. I was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, thanks again, everybody, for coming over. And tomorrow, on my channel, 2 o'clock Central Time, Cufflink King will be here. And if you're wanting to catch the extra tidbit tips that he's going to be giving, join Jewelry Lovers and Sellers and gather all the awesome information and join the crew over there. We're having a lot of fun. So <laughs> they can't see you. <laughs> okay. Thanks, everybody. Talk to you guys Bye. later. Bye. <laughs>